Dune, a short story. In the town of Palam, there lived two sisters, Gina Trehan and Misha Trehan, in a beautiful villa facing a lake. It was a small hilly town with a population of only 1500 and a lot of natural beauty that attracted a lot of tourists. Gina and Misha had lost their parents in their late teens. But they work part time to educate themselves and stand up on their own two feet. Once they completed their graduation, they joined the only school nearby as teachers in the primary section. Gina was always cheerful and full of life and quite popular among her students. She was their English teacher and always went out of her way to help her students or take extra classes to make them understand better. Sometimes she would even organize small get-togethers at her home. Her students hugely enjoyed her company and even confided their deepest problems to her. She also had a lot of friends too because of her helpful and cheerful nature. She was often sought around for most of the town or club events or even during any crisis in her friend circle. Misha was more of a solemn-natured person and loved spending most of her time at home cooking, knitting or watching television. She took life seriously as she felt one needed to be realistic and use time efficiently so that one was well prepared for whatever challenges life brought in. She thought Gina was too frivolous and wasted too much time doing good for the world when the world was too materialistic and selfish. Misha's students also found her strict and daunting just like the subject she taught which was maths. But both the sisters were well appreciated by the school principal because of their sincerity and efficiency at work. Misha liked to cook and used her extra time trying out new recipes while Gina was more of an outdoors person and loved gardening, sports and attending craft and pottery classes at the local club nearby. Years flew by and as age crept in, Misha found that she had quite a few health problems like high blood pressure and diabetes. She used to envy her sister who was just two years younger than her, yet she looked younger than her 45 years old and was easily flexible and agile. Though her sister had always pushed her to exercise and um, be more fitness conscious, Misha had never taken her advice seriously. As time went by, her knees and back gave her a difficult time and she had issues standing for long hours while cooking or sitting too long when knitting. One evening, while preparing dinner, they both caught the bad news that the school owner was hit by a truck while driving and was spot dead. The school had to close down after a month as the owner's son lived in another city and there was no one to take care of the finances and management of the school. Most of the students applied to schools in the nearby towns and some of the teachers migrated to other cities or had retired. It was difficult to leave the beautiful home left by their parents in search of jobs in other cities. Both Misha and Gina felt it was too late to move elsewhere for a living. 
but it was also difficult to manage the household expenses without an immediate job. They applied for jobs in various places around the town, but to no avail. With time, Misha got more crankier and moody. But Gina kept herself busy by planting vegetables in their garden and making a lot of gifts and craft items with her skills. She also took tuitions for students nearby who begged to be coached by her. She kept advising her sister not to be upset as tough times never last but tough people do. After two months, with Gina's hard work, the vegetables in their garden grew in huge quantities which saved a lot of their food expenses. She also made a lot of money selling her gift and craft items online. Along with the increase in the number of tuitions, there was soon enough income to take care of their daily needs. Gina assured Misha not to worry so much. But Misha became even more depressed sitting at home. She felt unhappy that none of her former students had approached for tuitions. She started to nag Gina a lot regarding their household duties and Gina finally stopped trying to make her understand anymore. She realized her sister was frustrated being cooped up at home all day long. Gina put a board at their gate and various flyers around the shopping malls, clubs and local shops offering tuition classes for maths. But the sad part was no student wanted to learn from Misha due to her serious and taunting personality. To get out of her morose mood, Gina would gently explain to her sister that she needed to go out more, exercise and be a little cheerful so that people could know more about her and help her network her skills. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. Remember that sis and try to carry a more cheerful and friendly disposition, said Gina. Stop lecturing me, Misha would tell Gina in irritation. Leave me alone. Go hang around with your social butterflies. But one beautiful sunny morning, as she gazed at the beautiful view of the lake in front of her house, Misha decided to take Gina's advice. She was tired of being depressed and out of pocket all the time and decided to change. She planned out an exercise routine and also thought of attending yoga classes for better health and flexibility. She started keeping herself busy making cookies, cakes and jam as well as knitting in her spare time. One of Gina's friends liked Misha's homemade jam and asked her to bring a few more to sell at her shop. With time, her pickles and jams got popular and there was a demand to make in bulk. Her health got better and she felt she could put in more hours of work. Orders flew in for cake and pastries too for house parties and club events. She also sold a lot of her needed stuff in the local garment shops. Her friends at the yoga studio started enjoying her company and spent more time out with her. She even got requests to take up tuition classes for her friend children or their nieces and nephews. Soon their home was buzzing with students every evening and the demand for tuitions increased more than they could handle. The students also wanted tuitions in other subjects and requested Gina and Misha to tutor them. Gina was hit by a sudden idea to open up a coaching institute at their home and Misha thought it was a brilliant idea. Their parents had left them a large house and they could convert four of the rooms for coaching. 
One evening, when Misha got a call from the town's top hotel for daily delivery of cakes and pastries, her joy knew no bounds as the pay was lucrative, and she didn't have to worry about finances anymore. She jumped and danced around the kitchen while singing in a loud voice. "What's up, sis?" Gina asked with a slight smile as she looked at her from the doorway. She was amazed to see her otherwise serious sister in such a frivolous mood. Misha quickly took a slice of red velvet cake from the counter top and fed a quick bite to her sister who was even more surprised. New contract with the Preston Hotel sis. You were right all along Gina. Laugh and the world laughs with you. Weep and you weep alone. Gina winked back with a double thumbs up sign. I second you on that sis. Gina and Misha's coaching institute was soon turned into a primary school at daytime while the coaching institute was run in the evening. Many of the teachers nearby who were out of work due to the old school closing down were thrilled to regain a shop again at their own local town. It also saved a lot of their traveling time. The school and institute run by both the sisters grew to be a roaring success in time with increasing staff and further expansion of the school to higher classes.